The Dak Prescott situation, especially with your saying his hard work, wanting to go in there the way his teammates like him, it's gone to a whole nother level now with this entire strain thing happening, which Jay Glazer told us is under the arm here. Okay, uh, it's, I don't know, it's a baseball yeah, thing. Baseball injury. It's uh, if you're to draw, what muscle is this, AJ? I got a big one, obviously. Your your lat. Yeah, okay, from, yeah. from the lat to above the nip is where Jay Glazer was describing where this thing okay. was happening. So it normally happens in baseball. Dak Prescott has thrown some balls this week. He's been on a pitch count. It's been light. It's been short. Then he came out yesterday and said when they get back to Dallas, he will be getting an MRI on this thing. The Dallas Cowboys put out a tweet said, this is not time to panic, but Dak Prescott is planning on getting another MRI. Do not worry, they said. Whoa. Do not worry, he's getting another MRI. I think this leads even more so into what Mike McCarthy said to Dak on the field after he got injured when he said, hey, don't you think it's about time to get in the gym and get some treatment? I mean, I appreciate you wanting to be out here, but at least we can know what we got. I think the MRI will just further explain to them exactly what's going on so they know can he hurt it more is he just going to have to battle through some pain is there potential ligament or anything else going on that was my big takeaway although my initial reaction immediately upon somebody telling me not to worry or panic is oh you people are about to panic or worry from what they heard <laughs> i don't think that's the case here i think this is dak trying to find out exactly what's going on with himself which is a smart move long haul yeah i mean if he really wanted an MRI right now, he'd get another one in California. So he's waiting. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's to see if whatever, how the strain looks a week from now, or whenever you, you have throw some light passes. I think him at least throwing light passes is a good sign. Like if they said, hey, we're going to get another MRI when we get back to Dallas, and he has thrown zero balls, not even 20%, that would make me worry. The fact that he can actually throw a little bit, I'm like, okay, hopefully it's something that, he can get out there for week one. Yeah, and it's, we still have a lot of time before week one. How many yeah. days? Uh, 28 days, four weeks exactly from today. Let's go. Yeah. So long, though. So long. We got Carson Wentz and Quentin Nelson getting their foot operated on and coming back five days later and walking around with no limp somehow. And I'm not saying that science and medical advances have gotten us to a point where everything can be figured out quickly, although it seems like the rest of the world has a lot of questions about how something got figured out so quickly ah. but if that continues to happen in the football world with the recovery times being shorter or shorter and shorter with the more we know about muscles and everything happening i don't think this is that big of a deal if it was a big deal he wouldn't be throwing a goddamn thing to your point aj hawk